Did I meet Trihex? Okay, oh wait, I saw Trihex and I had seen him the previous TwitchCon and uh, at the at the party and we, we were like we vibed a little bit. But um and I I, I, I tapped him on the chest as he was walking by. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to do, but he was walking by real fast like and he looked at me and he didn't re recognize me, I think, cuz I have short hair maybe, you know. I guess, I don't know. He didn't recognize me. But um that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that that's him right there, doc. <laughs> And then, um, I mean, he definitely knows who I am because I've talked to him a lot and he let me use his face for this emote, you know? But um, he didn't recognize me at that moment, which sucked. So, um, what else happened? Um, after we left the event, we all went to Peach's Airbnb, Kelly went to, and we were playing a drinking game. Everything revolves around drinking. It's just how adult life is. So, we're back. You guys remember how I, I drew it? There was the island, and then there was a table here. And then there was a couch. There's some chairs here. Okay, so now this time we're, we're hanging out here. And uh, I'm, I'm just sitting on the floor. And we're all playing some drinking game where you uh, you have to call a number out. It's actually really dumb. Because you, it was kind of fun though. You, you, I don't know. Is it actually fun? I was drunk. Okay, you call a number out. And uh, if you call a number at the same time as someone else, then you both have to drink. But if you don't call any number, then you have to drink. Hey, so Thanks you have to call like one today. and then the next person Just has to say two and then you like do this thing so with your, your, your body helps me at the same out. time i don't know why and then um yeah whatever we were doing that we we're doing that for like a fucking 40 minutes and then I, I put music in a cup i put i put that iden line 10 hour song in a cup right here and everyone was chilling hard hey Rekful, thanks for streaming today just lost my pet so your stream helps me out oh shit Dude, that could be really feels bad man i know people get so connected to their to their animals like Yoni and her dog, man. I, I, we can never go anywhere unless her dog like gets a fucking manicure first. It's crazy. And then, like, that made me sound like I really don't care about animals. But I had two dogs growing up, and I love them very much. I know what it's like. I, I actually had this German Shepherd named Rex, and I'd call him Rexy. And then, just one time, I was really worried that he wasn't eating enough, and I was like, Rexy, Rex. No, but I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't. I was a little kid. I actually couldn't say Rex, so I said, Eki. Uh, there's a home video of me doing it, so I know what happened. I was like three. I we, we I got we got him right when I was born and I had him till I was like 14 and then he passed away It was really sad. But we were like we grew up together me and the dog um, I never told stories about him really. Uh, so I, there's this home video of me I'm like Eki Eki you need to eat Eki and then I take his food bowl And I just kind of like drop it on the floor everywhere, but he wasn't hungry. He didn't eat anything <laughs> You know, but I didn't know. I don't know. Anyway um, Okay, then we went and started wandering around the streets uh, and we we're just walking for like 30 minutes and I got everyone to some I, I was feeling like very merry, you know, and I got everyone to hold hands while we're walking across the, along the streets Plus I wanted to hold some grills hands You know So we're all holding hands and then um We're just walking around Kind of sloshed and then we bump into a twitch guy uh, Pluto who tells us that ice Poseidon is at the restaurant like halfway up the block if we wanted to meet him. And I was like, okay. So we can, and we were already walking that way too. And then we walk up and Ice Poseidon's there and he was about to stream and Tyler One was there too. And then you, some of you might have seen Ice Poseidon turn the stream on and like, I actually was, I, I was the camera guy for him. So maybe you didn't actually see me. I don't know. But then I talked a tiny bit and then we was outside this restaurant. And then like Tyler One and Ice Poseidon were rapping or something, you know. That was, that was one of the only two times I saw Ice Poseidon. The other time was at the Twitch party and we both did arm thing at each other. Then uh, he goes and he's going to continue streaming and eating uh, like at this place where you cook your own meat. And then we decide to eat at this place too, but like separately, you know. So we just, we're just privately eating somewhere at a table for a while. Uh, and all of a sudden, maybe I was like coming down from the alcohol or something, but all of a sudden I was emo. So I'm, I'm, I'm there eating and like I just I feel like really disconnected from everyone I feel I feel really all alone in, in my, my mind or something, you know, and um, I, I don't I, Kelly's there and Peach is there and uh, you know um, I just I don't know I just uh, I was in a bad place or something uh, mentally and then we were, we were like I don't know I just I felt really shitty around this time I remember for like an hour or so uh, I had I, I had I had a lot of alcohol, but then I felt like I wasn't that drunk anymore. And then there were the only thing that was kind of nice. There were these three game devs. There were these three game devs cooking meat because you cook your own meat at this place. Uh, um, 
and they were some some little tiny shitty game probably you know i don't remember the name but i, I can it, it had happy in it i like it had the word happy and then something and i um i thought it was cute and then i was like yo you guys i'm a streamer you know maybe i could like make your game popular or something because i wanted to make them excited and happy and then they were like oh okay you know because they probably thought i have like five viewers they, they didn't give a shit and i was like ah and i, I didn't want to like try to brag to them and tell them i was a big streamer so it's like uh okay well you know i hope you guys i hope it works out for you guys and your game seems cute you know because they had shirts on other game they were just three devs one of them was a french guy and the other two were japanese and the french guy actually spoke japanese it was weird uh i've never never seen a french guy speak japanese like he's like ha 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 one second and all of a sudden he's speaking japanese um Oh, everyone feels bad mining so hard. I actually wasn't, you know, I don't, okay. Other than for the brag story that I banged someone, I don't actually like having sex with people, you know? So it's fine. You guys don't have to feel as bad, man. When I have sex with people, I've told you guys many times, I have like no feeling in my dick at all. And then I only feel anything when I come for the five seconds and then it's over. I know other people with, with uh, circumcised dicks, like they actually feel something, but I don't. I can't even tell if my dick is hard or soft unless I touch it. I have less feeling in my dick than in my finger. Yeah, this actually feels better. <laughs> no, like a lot of times I'm in, I'm in bed, I'm in bed, and I'm like, oh, I hope I don't have like I'm lying down next to some girl that, that you know we're just kind of friendly but not like fucking or anything. And I'm like, oh, I hope I don't have a boner right now, but I don't know unless I touch it or like look down. You know, I, I can't actually tell. Is that that's weird, right? Do can all of you always tell if you have a boner? Like if it, it's not bumping in anything. You know, like if you have like really loose underwear on. Yeah, I actually, I actually cannot tell unless it bumps into something. Also, just like having sex with someone makes you feel like alpha and like you're important and you matter and like they like you and all that stuff. There's a lot of good feelings attached with it, other than the actual um, sex itself. Yo, Byron, it was awesome meeting you. I'm the purple pleb, and you really wanted to take this picture, so here it is. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember this. Okay, there were these two huge plebs in the in the, the penguin shirt, and I was like, "You guys, you guys are so fucking alpha, man! Like, look, look, look at these plebs, dude." And I'm standing on my tiptoes because I wanted to feel less beta. I'll admit it. They were huge, man. They were like six five, maybe. They just I just saw them rolling around. <laughs> that was funny. Look at those pog champs, dude. Look at all the pog champs. <laughs> I met um, Loser Fruit, which is a streamer girl who one time, she's Australian, and uh, this one time I went in her stream and I made her play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I did that challenge where, this was years ago, I was like, if you win, I'll give you $10,000, and if you lose, you gotta give me $1, but I know no one can beat it, you know? And I, I made her play that one time, and I told her, I was like, hey, you remember me? I made you play this thing, and, and she was like, yeah. You know, she like obviously like thought I was an asshole or something, so, and then that was the end of the conversation. And I was like, ah, she, you know? Okay, so that, that was the one conversation with that girl. And then there were um, a couple a couple random girls who um, were at the bar and they were kind of new streamers and they didn't know who anyone was who, uh, somehow at this party. But one of them actually had 30K followers, she said, and she'd only been streaming like six months or something. And she was pretty cute, so I believed it. But, uh... I don't know, we were just talking about streaming and random shit like that, whatever. And then uh, I met Voiboy. Okay, I met Voiboy who I actually hit on his ex-girlfriend on stream a few times. And, uh, you know, I went in her stream and tried to hit on her. That that Pooksy girl. Uh, I think like pancakes or now or something. And then, you know, he, he messaged me back then and told me to stop hitting on her. And then I went on a stream the next day and he told me, he, I didn't actually remember all this happening, like exactly how he said it, but I believe him. He said he messaged me to stop hitting on her and I responded and said I would. And then the next day I went in a stream again and hit on her. <laughs> Which, I was like, okay, I believe that. You know, that sounds like me, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So we started off conversation just like that. I'm just like laughing just like that. And then like we hit it off. I don't know. We were chilling. He's like, don't worry, man. I'm not with her anymore. I don't care. And, and um... <laughs> and then uh, we were chilling and he was like trying to tell me about League and stuff and saying I should like play a Kali. He said I should really play a Kali and 
And I was thinking, oh, you know, if he thinks Akali is good, maybe I really should play Akali because there's not any aimed ability on Akali, you know. So we were chilling. Uh, he, we, we hung out the whole night, actually. We ended up going to a hookah place. And then Trick2G was here, too, but I only talked to him a little bit. I actually wanted to talk to him more. And he's just fucking talking about D-Gates and shit, like always. And then there were some random people. I remember... Oh, I, I just had a weird memory. I, okay, so, you know, in between all the drinking, at some point I went to the bathroom... And I was peeing, and I was talking to two guys who I was peeing next to about the Niagara Falls. I don't know how we started talking about the Niagara Falls. And I was like, how do the Niagara Falls keep flowing for so long? And there's so much water. Where does all the water come from? And one guy was like, I have no fucking idea. That's a good question. And the other guy knew. The other guy was like an older man. He was like 45. He's like, yeah, there are thousands of tributaries that feed the Niagara Falls. And, you know, what and I was like, oh, okay. Okay. And we're all just peeing together, you know? We're just chilling hard. Um... So then, I, I, I come back from peeing, and there's this girl who walks up to me, and she's like, uh, I'm a lot like you. I, I, know what your pers I know how you're emotional, and I know what your personality is like, and I'm a lot like you. And I, I want you to know that there, there are other people out there who feel the same way, or something like that. And then I, all of a sudden, she just said this one thing, and I got really emotional, man, out of nowhere. And it like, you know, right now it doesn't seem like it means anything. And then, but I was, I was kind of drunk. And then I, uh, I like walked up to Mr. Slynn and I started crying. I started crying on his shoulder. And I said like, oh, man, I just can't enjoy anything. You know, like this stuff's supposed to be fun. And I, I can't, I don't know, I'm not having fun. And like everyone's partying and I see everyone laughing and I want to be laughing and smiling too, you know? And I, I was just, I was full crying. It, I, I haven't like just cried. And no one else saw me cry except Mr. Slynn. I was just like in his, in, in his shirt, you know? Feels bad, man. Thanks, Mr. Slant, for being there for me. Then what? Uh, then all of a sudden, you know, I, five minutes later, I was feeling okay. It was like a roller coaster of emotion. And I was just, uh, we all went, the, the bar was closing, and we all went to a hookah place. And at the hookah place, there was this really hot hookah girl, like crazy, ridiculously hot. We all, uh, when I say we all went, I meant me, Mr. Slant, Peach, Kelly, Voy Boy. Yo, Jose, thanks uh, for the chillest weekend. Love you, bro. Try her, 07. Don't really remember who else. Okay, anyway, more people went to. Uh, God, it sucks for the people who I accidentally forget, but, you know, my mindset was probably like, oh, I really like these girls or whatever, you know, and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so you can understand. Wait, this is me hitting on Pooksy? How the fuck do you guys find this stuff? Wow, she's plat three. Every I need to get higher rank in League. I need to get higher rank in League. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway. Um, Pooksy, you're cute as F. Unban, please. <laughs> Yikes, dude. That's my bad right there. And then, uh... <laughs> okay, so... So, um, going on. So, we're at the hookah place, and this girl comes over to set up our hookah. And she's like this. Oh, I wish I could draw. Okay, so, she's dressed... In the skimpiest tiny little thing ever. Like I've loved you. This is her shirt. For a long time. Okay, I can't draw, but that's her shirt. For being cool and and chill, I hope you know what I mean? Like, great her body's Which here, you know, like can I get less than oh, wait, wait. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. And then like her arms. Okay, that that's her shirt, and that's the only piece of clothing she has in her upper body. And then on her lower body she she just has this tiny shorts like this. And then her legs. You know, okay. Oh god, I'm so bad. Anyway, this girl is right in front of me, like, and I'm, I'm drunk, and a little, you know, feel a little horny because I'm drunk too, and she's like, blowing on the hookah thing to set it up, like, you know, like, getting, like, just, and she's like, literally right in my face, like, like, there's like, this much, this much between us, you know, <laughs> just watching, she come almost completely naked, blowing on a thing. Or she's like sucking, actually. She's sucking. You know, on the fucking hookah thing to, to, to like get it going. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, ah, oh, geez. And then I don't know if I had a boner because, you know, I can't actually feel when I get a boner. So, um, so I'm chilling. And then, you know, Peach is, Peach is sitting here. And uh, Kelly's sitting here somewhere. Kelly's actually probably sitting here, I think, at this point. And we were having a decent time, but it was kind of, it was too loud to talk. So you, you couldn't really get to know anyone any more than you already knew them. Luckily, I already knew the people I was sitting around. But, you know, it's just loud as fuck, and you're just enjoying the moment, and like, whatever. 
So, uh, I tried to be alpha and talk to this girl just for fun. And uh, I said, yo, uh, you want to come sit with us? And she said, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll come sit with you guys. She never came back and sat with us, by the way. So, and then every time something like this happens, I wonder if, like, you know, maybe I should, like, try to use my status. You know, not that I have some crazy status, but, like, I'm like, when I see some hot girl, I'm like, maybe I should try to use my status in some way to get this girl, you know, like, how could I do it? Like, maybe what what could what would even impress her like fucking i don't have instagram like twitter followers or something stupid like there's no way to actually and then i'm like obviously there's no way to actually do that but you know if i actually had a way to do it i would totally try to exploit it but i don't know what it is so i don't know i don't know what to do so i'm just like i have to actually get these girls on my own merit and then you know i can't because i'm not that cool so like it's it's rough <sighs> Yeah, you guys are saying money, but how, how do you, what are you going to do? Like, just hand them money? Like, I don't know. It's, it's actually, no matter what, what, like, trick you try to use to skip the having to really impress them with your own merit, it's always awkward to try to, to do it. I don't understand how you do it, you know? Uh, an old friend of mine, this is from, this is a later point in the story, but I'll just skip to this. An old friend of mine, his dad actually uses that site you guys suggested to me called Seeking Arrangements because his dad and his mom are divorced. And he like, you know, he, he's a rich guy and he like hooks up with 20 year old hot girls all the time. And, uh, you know, like the site is like you pay for their school or something and they like hang out with you and have sex with you and stuff. Uh, that's just what it is. Piss break, please. Okay, okay. Take a piss. Everyone, everyone get up and take a piss. I'm not going to tell any more of the story for a minute. Not na Navari. Navari has to pee. Okay, that guy has to pee. While, you got, while you're taking a piss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just check my phone. What is this? You need to take a shit? Okay, all you guys, you need to take a shit. There's Twitch app on the phone, okay? Hey, Jesus Christ. Describe Kelly's milkers Craigasm. Kelly's milkers are actually huge. And I thought she was a little chubby. If I'm being honest, I thought she was a little chubby because from her stream, you know when you have a girl and she has a face like... Her, her webcam's her face and then it only goes down to her huge boobs. Then you kind of assume that the girl's fat you know because her webcam ends right there but then under here it's just the skinniest little body ever she's really skinny anyway this guy who just tweeted dude i look so happy in all these drunk pictures man where is this like i don't even know where i am hey this guy looks so happy okay so this is the night okay this is the night sunday night the party with the uh, boy boy oh yeah geronimo was there too uh i know him as polly from wow but Anyway, trick, that was that, and then, uh, this is the morning, I'm sitting by myself eating, I got a yogurt and some granola and some fruit, and I, uh, I'm actually, like, real sad feeling, like, because everyone's leaving, and, you know, I feel like I didn't get to say bye to a lot of people, because you don't know when it's the last time you'll see them, like, I didn't say bye to any of these people, you know, you don't realize it's the last time you're going to see them during the event, even though the, it ends the next day. Milkers, as you guys like to call her, Kelly needed to go to LA too, but she was about to take a drive with Hotted. And then I messaged her and I said, yo, come to LA with us, we're going. And she said, uh, she thought that I hated her or something. And she was like, you were really standoffish last night at the party and I thought you hated me and whatever, you know? And I was like, no, uh, don't hate you. You know, I don't know. I, she thought I hated her, it's weird. So I, I don't hate. And then uh, she was like, okay, I'll come with you guys to LA. And then we wait, we wait for her. She takes fucking forever to pack and get ready. And then Backspace takes forever to come after an hour and a half or so. Uh, and we get like, we get Starbucks or some shit. And I convince a Hearthstone player next to me that the best thing at Starbucks is a really gay sounding thing, a, a soy latte. And I say, you're going to hate me because you're going to have to order soy latte all the time for the rest of your life if you get it. And he's like, no, I want to try it. You know, it sounds, sounds good. And then I was like, yeah, it's magical, dude. So I, I get him a soy latte and he loves it. And then I'm like, okay, so when I go to Starbucks, you know, I don't want to be like that, that fucking pretentious ass motherfucker who says, I want a soy latte. So every time I always like lean in and I whisper to the lady, I'm taking, taking my order. I'm like, could I get a soy latte? Could I get, you know, so if you want a free tip and he's like, yeah, I feel pretty gay saying soy latte too. So we were both talking about that and I thought it was kind of funny. And, um, <laughs> it is the best thing they have. And then, uh, we get in, we get in Backspace's car. And Backspace is, you know, the guy who manages Amaz, kind of, you know, he, like, he owned the fucking Archon team, whatever. And um, he's talking about a bunch of businessy stuff, but he's also a, a person I've talked to for a long time. So we're, we're kind of chilling, but I feel like 
Kelly and Katie in the back are kind of bored talking about all this businessy shit like sponsors and stuff like that and like new ideas for streams and all that shit. This is us in the car, by the way. This is a car and then it has wheels and then it has chairs, right? I am Katie. Girl feels bad. Men also will give massages again. Kappa pride. Oh, that's Katie. Yeah, so Katie, she kept giving me massages. I forgot to mention that. You guys would probably be interested in that. They were good, too. Um... Nice car. Yes, this car is sweet, right? <laughs> okay, so we're all driving, and Katie's flight is at like 3 p.m., and we left this place at 1 p.m. I, and it's LAX, so you have to actually get there pretty early. And the the, the drive when we left actually maybe at 12:30, huh, Katie? 12:30. And the drive is like two hours in traffic, so I'm like, oh fuck, we're not gonna make it. And I have to pee this entire time, but I hold my pee. My bladder is probably like this. That's my pee right there. I hold my pee the whole drive. Even though I had to pee right as we left. I held it for two hours and it was the toughest it's ever been to hold a pee in my whole life. And I actually was going to pee in a bottle for my first time in a car. But Kelly, who's Hell sitting right yeah. here, I was super did not let me pee in the bottle. She said that would be gross. Think I would see you, but so I, I'm, I there's a bottle right here. There's Dr. just a bottle Dr. chilling Dr. on the floor. So I didn't pee in it. Yo, I want long hair like this, dude. Within yourself, Wait a second. Doesn't matter. Wait, do I want hair like that? Pretend that's my face. Hold on. Wait, I would look cool. Okay, we're going for that, boys. We're going. I look good bald. Uh, maybe I want the fucking crazy long hair, dude. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is like the first picture I ever took. And this is what made me start doing photography. I, I, I was on a film camera. And there's like the thing. of the, This is just in my front yard at my parents' house. And there was just a... Uh, it looked so cool to me. The sprinklers were on, and this this happened with the in the camera. And the I didn't change anything. I just took the picture. Um, I used to like sign my name all this shit. Um, and that that's what that's what got me into it. I see say um so much. I like I like candid photos like this. This is one of my favorite <laughs> ones I took actually. I was just I was on this little boat somewhere near the Niagara Falls with my parents and these, these ladies were talking and I took the picture from my lap. I didn't even look in the viewfinder. I just, cause I didn't want to be awkward. There's me and Jenna somewhere. That's oh, actually in my brother's room. The CRT monitor. Oh, this is a cute, this, is a, this idea of this picture is cool. I saw two roses and one of them like died. I mean, it, it was gone. And then I called it widow. You know, I thought I was clever, but the picture itself, isn't that cool? I used to, uh, I used to love doing, taking pictures. It was like, the only reason, all of a sudden I was interested in traveling. Like, I traveled with my parents to a bunch of different countries and they loved doing it. And I was, all of a sudden I was interested in traveling just for taking the pictures. Because before, when I went around, I didn't feel anything. When I, when I, when I just look at a, a scene and see it one time and it's like a fleeting moment, I don't, I don't feel like it's valuable to me. But then when I get, got to take a picture and save that moment forever and look back and have memories attached to it, then, um... It felt, it felt awesome. It actually had a lot of, dude, like all the other emo kids on DeviantArt when I posted this, like this shit, man. <laughs> Look at my Elliot Smith shirt. If you guys needed proof that I liked Elliot Smith before, a long time ago. I'm seriously autistic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I am, bro. Uh, you want me to click this one? Okay. Full it, full. So I wanna lick your arm baby. You want to lick my armpit? Lekful. Ah, uh, feels good to be lekful.